Hi, I'm Rob. Welcome to Bella Barista. I'm going to show you what you need to do to set up your coffee machine at home to make delicious coffee. When you get your machine at home, it's really important that you keep hold of the original box that it comes in, in case you ever need to send it back to us for a service or a repair. When you fill your machine with water, it's really important that you use filtered water. If you use water straight from the tap, even if it's got a salt filter on it, it's likely to increase the scale buildup in the boiler. time you switch your coffee machine on, it's going to take about 20 minutes to heat up. You can tell when it's almost ready when the steam pressure will go up to about 1.5 bars on the gauge. When you're ready to start making coffee, make sure you've got a few things to hand. First you've got your favourite coffee, a set of scales, a tamper, a jug, a bin, microfiber cloth and some cups. When you get a new grinder at home, the burrs on there are going to be really sharp. This can cause some inconsistency with your dosing. So we recommend running some coffee through the grinder initially, just to season the burrs and help you dial it in. Once you've run some coffee through the grinder, you need to adjust the grind level so it's fine enough for espresso. To do this, you turn the grind adjustment wheel on the side here until the, the coffee running through the grinder is the consistency of ice and sugar. Make sure whenever you're adjusting the wheel that you always have the blade running so that it doesn't get jammed. To make a double espresso, we're going to be following a 1 to 2 ratio. We'll put 18 grams in the basket and get 36 grams out as an espresso. We want this to take between 28 and 32 seconds. First, put your portafilter on the scales and tear it to zero. Then grind out 18 grams of coffee into your basket. Level the coffee off, tamp it firmly and then wipe off any excess around the rim of the basket. When you're ready to pull your shot, lift up the lever into the up position and start your timer. If your espresso shot ran through too quickly, it means that the grind level is too coarse and you need to adjust it to make it finer. If the shot ran through too slowly, it means that the grind is too fine and you need to make it coarser so that it will run through quicker. If you want to make a milk based drink, fill your jug up to just below the spout and put the steam tip all the way in. Turn the tap till it's fully open and then slowly lower the jug down till the, the tip of the steam wand is resting just on the surface of the milk. This will allow air to get into it and create bubbles and texture. Do this for a few seconds and then slowly lift the jug back up again to stop air getting in. You can now focus on tilting the jug to get the milk spinning in a vortex motion. This will help create more texture breaking down those bubbles into small microfoam. You need to heat the milk through so it's about 65 degrees. You can do this by holding the palm of your hand on the side. When it's too hot to hold anymore, you need to turn the steam tap all the way off. If you need any more help with your equipment or have any more questions, please feel free to contact us on our phone or by email.